Hello everyone, my name is Christian Roberts, and welcome to my instructional slide cask on making a pecan pie with a cream cheese layer. This pecan pie will be sure to please at any feast this holiday season. To make this pie, some of the tools that you will need include a stand mixer with pastry paddle, measuring cups and spoons, a hand mixer, mixing bowls, a pastry mat, rolling pin, a cookie cutter, and a pie plate. The ingredients for the pecan pie are flour, salt, a Crisco stick, ice water, eight ounces of cream cheese, four eggs, sugar, caro syrup, vanilla, and chopped pecans. To make the crust, first sift together three cups of flour and one and a half teaspoons of salt in a bowl of your stand mixer. Use the paddle attachment to cut the Crisco stick into the flour mixture. When it looks crumbly, begin adding 10 to 14 tablespoons of ice water, one at a time, to the mixture. You'll know when you have enough water when the dough is sticking together without looking too wet. But please note that it is better to have a little too much water than a little than too little. If your dough is too dry, it will crack when you try to roll it out. To roll out the dough, place the pastry mat down on your counter and rub a little flour lightly over to prevent the dough from sticking to it. Divide the dough in half. You will use half the dough for this pie. The other half can be used for another pie or store in the freezer for later. Form the dough into a ball and place it on the pastry mat. Dust it with more flour to prevent the rolling pin from sticking to the dough. Roll out the dough to about 1 8 to a quarter inch thick and large enough to cover the pie plate. Trim off the excess from the edge of the pie plate as shown here. You can decorate the edge of the crust by pinching it with your fingers as shown or by pressing a fork into the dough to make a neat design. Use the remnant of the dough that was trimmed off in a cookie cutter to add a little flair to your pie. This step is purely optional. Now that the crust is ready, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The filling for this pie is done in layers. For the first layer, you will need cream cheese, one egg, sugar, salt, and vanilla. Put all of the ingredients into a mixing bowl and blend it until it's creamy. Using a rubber spatula, spread the mixture evenly into the pie crust. The, layer, the second layer is the easiest layer of them all. All you have to do is spread one and a quarter cups of chopped pecans evenly over the cream cheese layer. For the third and final layer, you will need three eggs, sugar, caro syrup, and vanilla. Place all ingredients into a mixing bowl. Using a hand mixer, blend all ingredients thoroughly. Pour this mixture evenly, evenly over the previous two layers. Your pie should now be ready for the oven. Here you can add that, add that decorative shape of pie crust if you choose to. I chose to do a leaf shape. Place the pie on the center rack of your preheated oven and set the timer for one hour. After one hour has passed, pull the pie from the oven. It will be all puffed up and cracked. Don't be alarmed. It will settle back down as it cools. Let the pie cool to room temperature before serving and enjoy. You'll notice when you cut into it that all of the layers have switched places with one another. Well, that's how you make a pecan pie with a cream cheese layer. I hope you enjoy it as much as my family does. Happy cooking.